I'm the Commissar, this is Forged Alliance Forever, and you are here because if you can't get through reaction yourself, then at least you can watch it. And those three are going for it 1v1v1 on the map Snowy Triangle. So let's go in and meet our terrible trio. Starting at the top left, this is Jadoka 1972 noob, he's 2100 rated. He is Seraphim and he is in Mucus Brown. Down here in the south we have Bob Missili. Missili? We're going to call him Bob. He's 1400 rated. He's Seraphim and he's in white. He's the lowest rated player in today's game but will that mean he's at a disadvantage or will it mean that the two higher rated players are more interested in each other? And speaking of the two higher rated players, here's the other one. This is Raelia, who is 2000 rated and Eon, and he's gone mauve. Now the map Snowy Triangle. Mostly water, the actual central combat area is like 4k tops. It's tiny is the point. And there is also not much in the way of mexes. Five starting mexes per player one central mechs per player and three mechs on these outside islands per player so very low mass expect to see this settled up close and personal at tech one or tech two tops there's a decent amount of reclaim though each of these islands has a few little buildings on plus some trees and rocks and in the middle there's this little cybran city which can be picked up and reclaimed Some early greed from Jidoka who is sending this NG out across the water with the intent of grabbing this island and you can see that he's wisely got a factory queued up pretty early in order to start producing land units. Even more greed though from Raelia who has sent two NGs up to this island. Meanwhile Raelia has sent out a little exploratory raid of one Aurora and one Scout but Jidoka's comm is here, however the comm is not caring about these two units, he's just bothering about the reclaim and he comes in to pick up the Aurora, no trouble there. There's another Aurora going south for Raelia though and this might get some more success, in fact, boom, indeed it does, one of Bob's NGs goes down, though he did get a little bit of the reclaim. And Jidoka's comm looks like he's moving towards some of the more central reclaim while his engineer eats up the big buildings. That's pretty nice. However, the comms themselves are fighting up here as Jidoka and Raelia face off. And Raelia has a little more spam helping out, but I don't think this is really going to threaten either of the two players. And Jidoka's sending an NG up to that island that Raelia claimed, and with good foresight, he has sent a Zui. Now, Zuis are some of the most infuriating T1 units to counter, as they are arty and they hover. And this can just sit here and pop these mexes and this NG with no trouble while being safely out of range of anything. Back here, Jidoka has moved away with his comm. There's nothing really that's going to be fightable over here apart from this mechs and no one's going to lay claim to that mechs this early. Also, Zui's coming out here, good aw awareness in terms of threats, but there's nothing actually to fight. However, they'll be well in position to stop this NG from Bob. Meanwhile, Raelia heads out here and he's also guarding his expansion, this time with a bomber. That Zui has done its work and taken out this mex. It takes out the factory that's under construction. Is it going to get the NG? Raelia is moving, which is nice. Or was moving, I think. Boom. Down goes the NG. So, for the time being at least, we have two islands in the grasp of Jidoka and one that Raelia has just begun to colonise. We do have Bob trying to send out some competition for this island, but I think that Raelia's bomber might have spotted it. 
Maybe not, he's just flying straight on. Where's that bomber going to go? Well, he looks like he's just trying to get some damage in Bob's base, and an another hit on those three P-Gens would kill them. And he flies away rather than face the anti-air. On the Northern Island, I'm not sure that's exactly where Jadoka wanted to position his Zoe. It's too close to shoot at this mech. However, he's got to tear it up and he's not going to complain about this island. 2v1 complains to Joker, and you can see why. Bob has sent in some tanks and taken out this mech. Meanwhile, Raelia is pushing in here, but Jadoka is going to finish the gun, and Raelia might be under threat as a bomb hits and damages, but doesn't kill. Is this going to take out a lot of Jadoka's power? Boom! Oof, that is painful. Has it crippled Jadoka's power? No, but he... In fact, he's actually got some to spare, but if he loses this as well, that story might change. However, Bob has not chosen to press the attack. Rayleigh has also fallen back in the face of the gun upgrade. I feel Bob could have done some more damage here, but who am I to judge? Nice reclaim there, as the Zooies are too close to fire, and so the NG from Raelia sets them up. Raelia maintains control over this island, and we noted that this map is mostly water. Well, Raelia has gone here for a naval yard, and he has a frigate out. And that frigate is taking pot shots from out of range of this point defence. Which will mean that I don't think that this factory will have a chance to get established if Raelia is paying attention. He will just zoom up here and pop this NG. Jadoka, however, has been forced down into the red as he goes into the water thanks to Raelia's com and spam, but Raelia doesn't have any subs coming out of this base just yet, and so Jadoka is going to be safe. If there'd been a sub there, just one sub for Raelia, Jadoka would be dead right now, but there wasn't, and he isn't. Now, Jadoka was still a mech down in his base, but he is leading the mass production and he is leading the mass totals. The lead in the mass totals is because he has the most reclaim, and the lead in mass production is because he's still got this actual full island under his grasp. Although, that may be about to change because his main base is being hit by these frigates, and so he's now two of his five main mechs is down. That said, Rayleigh either didn't notice or didn't care about this factory going up here, and so Jadoka is also colonising this island. NG War? Raelia gets it. Or at least, Raelia gets the better of it, but Azui pops out at a crucial moment and saves this NG with just seven hit points left. I think that was pure fluke, because if Jadoka were paying attention here, he would have reclaimed that mechs. Raelia also going for gun. He's got the range upgrade. He's now going for the speed upgrade. Meanwhile, Jadoka comes over here trying to see off these frigates as he wants to rebuild his mechs. And with the gun upgrade, he should be able to get within range of that frigate before it can do any more damage to his base. But on this side, we have range and speed gun upgrade coming in from Bob. We have a lot of spam from Bob, and when there's this little in the way of mechs, you would expect a lot of T1 spam to be a key feature of the day. And will Bob's deployment of all this spam, how much is that? That is... Commander under attack. That is 50 tanks pushing in, and with the gun upgrade, his comm is fronting the charge, which means that the spam from Raelia just has to retreat. There is a single bomber from Raelia, but Bob is supporting with Inties, which is pretty lovely. Raelia is raiding down here and might be able to take out some of this, but there is a point defence up here for Jadoka, and Raelia is probably focusing a bit harder on this. How is he going to stop Bob just walking into his base? I really don't know. Could Raelia be about to lose the entirety of his base? 
and he is rooted to the spot getting his second gun upgrade and while he's doing that he's already three mixes down he's two factories down and this this looks like it could just swarm really they wouldn't kill him Bob however he does know where he is there and really it completes the gun he's retreating with this force and I think he might be going to try and claim this and just sacrifice this base write it off as a loss and a loss it most certainly is look at that that base has been utterly slaughtered by Bob and not content with wiping out Raelia Bob is pushing on over here but down in the south, backed up by a bomber, despite being on only 4,000 hit points, okay, backed up by several bombers. Is that four? Stoker comes into Bob's base, while Bob and all his spam are up here. And meanwhile, I've got a little view up here as Raelia, with his gun upgrade, walks into Jadoka's island. So both of, well, I say both. Two of Jadoka's three bases, because he's got the island down the bottom left, are under attack. But Bob's just not got the production with only... Well, a second ago he had only nine, now he's got ten mass per tick. But he's power stored, and so Bob just can't produce anything here. And really, it's just going to get this island, no questions asked. Down goes this factory, the, he's got some Zooey's running away, but frigates counter Zooey's and he's got a frigate coming in. So boom, that island is now Raelia's. And let's focus in on Bob in Jadoka's base, just as Jadoka is in Bob's base. And Jadoka is reclaiming the factories, which is nice. But less nice for him is the amount of damage that his base has taken from Bob and all of his spam. So that's pretty brutal, look at this. Hitting that energy storage would be nice and could cause a chain reaction. Jadoka does have a naval yard, but I don't think he's really got... Mind you, look at the ecos, this is crazy. Raelia has just two mass per tick, Bob just four, and Jadoka, thanks to having that bottomless island, actually has the most, but what's he doing with it? He's producing bombers, but that's pretty much all he's got, because all his factories are dead. He's got this naval yard, navy is expensive. And as you can see, this frigate is taking quite a while to pop up. And Jidoka is just keeping on taking out Bob's stuff. These factories have been paused because Bob can't afford them. This factory, however, is about to go down. This one frigate is finally going to roll off the blocks and it will probably shoot up those thams with no problem as the farms can't range the naval yard and they certainly can't range the frigate. Bob is now just setting up a new base in Jadoka's old base. Out comes the frigate and it does indeed get a chance to shoot the farms, the farms back up. Wow, and Jadoka finishes off this conquest. Now, I would like to take a moment just to appreciate the beauty of this. You know I love a good base trade, but this is not just a base trade, this is a three-way base trade where every single one of our three players has not got a single one of their five starting mixes. Isn't that beautiful? Raelia has two islands and is therefore in the mass lead by quite some way. Jadoka has one island, but he's lost all his power and therefore doesn't have the power to support it. Otherwise, he would be able to be using this T2 mechs, and he is actually upgrading all his mechs to T2, but he doesn't have the power for it. And Bob, well, Bob has got a couple of mechs in Raelia's base, and he's building power in Jadoka's, but he needs more engines, and I like the fact that he has quickly colonised Raelia's base. This feels like it could be doing some work, this force from Raelia. It could come in here and hit some damage over here while the comm is over here, but Bob has wisely defended with a PD. Wouldn't help against Jadoka, who has floating arty, but will help against Raelia, whose arty cannot float.
Jadoka is taking over Bob's base, but it's much slower because Jadoka only has his comm here. No NGs. And thanks to this radar, Bob can see it and is popping off the mechs as quickly as they're being built with this single sneaky Zooey. Jadoka is now well in the mastery despite only having got this island because he has built a bit of power and he can now support these T2 mechs. There was an attempted raid from Relia, but this frigate out from Jadoka has seen it off. But Bob has walked out into the water and taken out Jadoka's naval production. So Jadoka needs to rebuild his navy somewhere or he won't have any navy. And Relia is making the f first sub of the game here. Which means that he will be able to trap any comms who retreat to the water, which could be quite nice. Now, we mustn't forget that this is still RT1, and Relia has the gun comm, and so he's just walking his way out of the water, and he could well be able to just retake his base with the gun comm, and once he's done a bit of damage here, he'll just be able to move his spam in and consolidate. So that would be nice, if he can do it. Bob, however, is bringing his comm back, and now he has got some NGs over here. They'll need to finish these factories so he's got some production power, but will his comm on its own be enough to counter Relius? I don't know if it's going to be enough. He's got a little bit of spam here, and he's producing more. Oh, but this could be a mistake from Relius. Relius is moving this way, and this is just giving Bob his spam to eat for free. Bob is going to clean up these Auroras with a few quick shots and they're just they're just dying, there's nothing that Rarely can do about it. And that could be the turning point because now Bob has a bit of spam and a gun com and he's even got production here that's still working and Rarely has just a gun com so that could have really turned the tables because Rarely just lets Bob destroy his spam. Now, Jadoka has lost every single one of these five mechs that he had here to the various frigates and so on, but he has got one piece of production up and it is rebuilding. Really, it could just take it out by sending this spam down here, but Jadoka would prefer to say, see to it that Relia does not have this island, and so he's sending his guncom to take the island, and there's not really anything here to stop it. Now, Jadoka does have three T3 vectors on this island now, and as a result, he actually has 26 Eco. Eco over 20, my dudes, I know, it's amazing. He, but it's true. Imagine having 20 Eco when you're 18 minutes into the game, but these guys don't. However, this Mex is within range of the sea, and so this frigate can just pound it. Okay. And I think it'll go down if Raelia notices. So Jadoka was just taking this out with some nice tasty reclaim, just the way he should be. And Raelia is bringing his comm in to save the day. But that means that Bob has been able to come back here and reconsolidate in Raelia's base. And this is quite a decent naval force, three frigates and a sub, and they're engaging Jadoka's naval production, and they're just going to take it out. And Jadoka has actually captured this factory, which is rather nice, rather than reclaimed it, so you will have access to Eon Tech, if he can get out a few engineers. He just destroys the Hydro, and is he going for a re he's going for a capture on the radar? But out comes Relia, and he's going to pop that factory before it gets anything off. And Jadoka, he's not going to stick around. He doesn't want to face the com of Relia. He, j even though he is back up to full health, but so is Relia, he's going to come back in here, and not a moment too soon because Bob's com, having decided he's consolidated Relia's base well enough, is now coming down into the middle. OK GG, ex exclaims the Joker, and this is why. He's lost one of his T2 mexes, he's about to lose another, and he's, in fact, he's going to lose pretty much his entire eco there, which is going to be painful, and meanwhile, Bob's eco is absolutely booming. He has a T2 mex here, he has two of the starting bases, 
Look at this. Bob is actually looking to be on track to take the entire central island. Could this be victory for our lowest rated player in the bag? Well, that depends on how he reacts to Jijoka. Now, he has the same upgrades as Jijoka. He has more vet than Jijoka. Bob should win this fight. There is this point defense that I have to be aware of. But if Bob falls back to his own point defense, he might be able to take it. And Bob, not content to have this fight, is also sending a huge swarm of Zooey's up to fight Raelia. But Raelia has got to T2. Our first T2 production on the field is this land factory, and he's sending out blazes. Now, if well microed, the blazes should counter the Zooey's. And look at them. They're just flying in amidst all the shots, and they're tearing them up. This is beautiful micro from Raelia. His two blazes swarming around and about. And this one's got four kills. This one's got five kills. And another one comes out. These Zooey's are just going to be mashed. But are they going to take out the T2 factory before they die? You know, I think they might. Boom, the T2 HQ goes down. No more blazes are coming out for Raelia. This frigate will also help counter the... Zooey's and I think the Zooey's are all now going to die without killing a single one of the blazes indeed they don't nice play from Raelia there love it but he has lost his T2 factory however that is now I only 150 mass but is he going to go straight for another one well we're going to find out soon meanwhile Bob has put up some point defenses to which he can fall back and Jadoka is choosing not to engage and Bob sends out a bomber. Is targeting the comm the right choice? I don't know. I don't feel it is. Bob's forces, having been repelled here by Raelia though, are now swarming down here. But there are a lot of frigates and frigates just hard counter Zooey's. Poor Jadoka, he's completely lost this island. This could be more successful though. This one frigate seems to be a tiny bit out of position, but Raelia's Com is here, and Raelia's Com will easily be able to counter the Zooey's. So, despite his huge set of raids, I don't think that Bob's going to be seeing any success with that heap of Zooey's, and that's a lot of NGs, but they're just going to die to this one frigate, and Bob is not going to get a naval presence. And that could also be crucial because as, as long as Raelia can bring in naval units from the outside, that ranges an awful lot of these mexes, and there's very little that any of the players with no naval control will be able to do about it, as we saw when Jadoka lost this entire island. There's a vast, vast heap of reclaim there. Look at that, there's 3,000 reclaim on the island, and Jadoka might well be in a position to pick it up. But he hasn't done it yet, and so we might see one of the other players attempting a denial. And these blazers look like they're coming in for a raid, and there's not really much to defend in Raelia's old base. Could this be enough to take it back? There is a bomber here out from... Bob and the blazes don't have that many hit points if the bomber can get a decent number of hits in but how much damage will they do before they die? Two mexes already down, some zooeys going down, good to counter those zooeys before they can get anything done. And we have a drop here from Raelia who is immediately setting up a factory on this island. But Raelia has a terrible eco because he's actually only got this one iron in this mech's here. Even Jadoka has 11 mass thanks to having Bob's base in full. However, Raelia looks set to see about that. He's got a bunch of frigates coming in from one side taking out these mechs. He's got his com coming in from this side. And at the moment it is Bob whose eco is in the ascendant. And Bob actually has a chance to set up a naval yard here if he's quick about it. But, but these guys aren't assisting here, and I think that's just because Raelia doesn't have the eco. 
He's expanding back here again, and it is now Jadoka who is in a bad position, having lost no fewer than three of these vexes. Jadoka is now only on five mass per tick. How did this die? Maybe I'll go back and check. But, um, either way, both the attempts to build stuff there are dead, and so this island is once again a no man's land. More blazes from, well, the same blazes, as he hasn't got teacher production back up yet, from Raelia come around here and they stop Bob getting into the water. Meanwhile, Raelia is trying to get take back his old base. Is he going to be successful? Well, four of the mechs are down, and when there are so few mechs, every mech is super important. And Jadoka, once again, is sending his comm out to this island. Now, last time, he was prevented by Raelia's comm, but this time, Raelia's comm is all the way up here, and so Jadoka might be able to take this island all for himself. Oh, we have another drop in from Relia on this island. He's going to get out of a factory, and this time it looks like there isn't much to counter it. Well, I say that, but I see a drop of Jadoka's Inties coming around the south. Nice little capture there as um, Relia just takes over Jadoka's power. But this is a lot of Inties. Will the drop simply be shot down? Quick check over here, Jadoka has evicted Raelia from this island, but rather than consolidate it straight away, he's going to try and take out this naval yard. Similarly, Raelia has evicted Bob from this space. Down come the NGs, they land. The Inties shoot down the transport, but the NGs are down, and they're throwing up a T1 point defence, and if that point defence is allowed to go up, it could be brutal. There's a reclaim attempt going down from Raria, but it doesn't stop the point defense going up. And the NGs join in on the reclaim, but there's now a frigate shooting over here. And Jadoka tries to reposition. This T2 mechs will be an excellent thing to reclaim, but he only gets a bit of it before the frigate comes round and shoots up the engineers. So Boom, the power plants explode, and this one T1 PD is holding it for Jadoka, but there's no actual engineers here. Back to no man's land over here. Bob is using his comm on Raelia's navy, but Raelia's navy is actually getting pretty big. And... The oh my. So, Raelia only has 7 eco. He is way behind in eco thanks to losing this island. Bob is ahead, but only by a little bit, because Jadoka has been getting T2 mechs up. He's only got, actually got 3 of these mechs. These have died to frigates game, but this one mech that can't be ranged by frigates is the only T2. It's on its way to T3. That's mad. Who would have thought you'd see a T3 mechs on Snowy Triangle? Well, we might not yet. It's not up yet. But, what I was originally shouting oh my about was this. We have T2 Navy in the queue for Raelia and look how slowly that's going. It's unassisted and Raelia has the lowest eco and Navy is incredibly expensive mass wise. So that is extremely bold but I do see where it's coming from. Raelia has a lot of Navy. He's got T2 Flax still on the field though he's lost his T2 land production. And so, Raelia is pretty well defended against anything coming off the water. He can afford to sit back and build T2 Navy, and just keep his ships on patrol to make sure nobody else gets Navy. Do we still have to play this game, says Bob. Yes. You can surrender if you want. Nah. And Bob is now down to 9 mash thanks to losing this, losing this mech to the Navy, then game is lost, says Jadoka. Does he think that rarely has got it? Well, Jadoka actually has as much mass, not quite as much as the other two combined, but close. And this could be his ace in the metaphorical hole. He has also colonised this island again. 
and if Relia wants to stop it, he's going to have to send out some ships to go and deal with it. Now, this bomber from Jidoka could be nice, because Eon frigates have no anti-air at all, and so the bomber can just go to town on them. There is a sub here, but with his three vets, Jidoka is not under threat from one sub, and he just straight up reclaims it. However, he's not the only one who can play at the bomber game, and he's losing his mexes out here to Bob's bombers. Meanwhile, we have T2 mexes for Raelia, and suddenly Jidoka is lowest in Ica, where a second ago he was the highest, because he's also lost this mex, and he has one T2 mex and one T1 mex. But the T2 mex is capped, and it's also 91% of the way to T3. Will this be the turnaround? And remember, this can't be ranged by frigates. If he loses it right now to bombers, that would be brutal. He has got a T1 anti-air defence here to prevent just such a shenanigan. This frigate is looking like it's coming around probably to try and take out this mix, but if Jidoka can get an overcharge off and he does have power storage there, then that frigate just dies. Well, he doesn't get an overcharge off. No, says Jidoka. He wasn't answering anything, he was just saying no about the frigate. And Bob is doing hard work with these bombers. They're going to try and take Raelia off this island too. And Raelia has a decent number of NGs which have picked up a lot of reclaim. Is he in the reclaim lead now? No, Bob is. Uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, given how many bases Bob has smashed. But it feels like Bob will be able to take out this island without a problem. So now we're going to have two empty islands. Raelia on one island. Jidoka on one base, Bob on one base, and, and this iron empty, so the base trade is pretty much complete. Well, not quite in that Raelia has gone to an iron rather than somebody else's base, but Jidoka and, and Bob have swapped bases. I love a base trade. And that naval upgrade is done, and he's starting with a cruiser. I'm not sure why that is. I presume he's just worried about these frigs having no anti-air and the bombers out from Bob, but he's got in T, he's got T1 anti-air in his base. I don't think he needs to worry about that, I think he should have gone straight for a Destro. And the T3 mech is up for Jadoka, taking him up not just past 20, but past 30 mass. We have 30, uh, well 34 now, mass per tick coming in for Jidoka, which is way more than Raelia, who just, quotation marks, just has these three T2 Mexes. But his navy is doing good work. There are Yenzines out from Bob now, who has this T2 land HQ. And the Yenzines could be a good counter to the frigates. Maybe they're the answer that Bob needs to Raelia's navy. But I'll tell you what they won't counter well is a destroyer. I suppose that with good micro Yenzines will counter an Eon destroyer well. But it's going to require pretty nice micro and absolutely surrounding the Exodus in order to do the damage. Several destroyers have beam weapons and so are harder to counter. And this is good preparation from Jidoka. He is investing in T2 turrets which can outrange the frigs so that he can safely build and then upgrade this mechs. However, I'll tell you what these don't outrange, and the answer to that is a Destro. So, when a Destro is completed by um, Raelia, which he's got now lots of in the queue, that will be a nasty surprise for Jidoka, who ha is getting T2 production here, but he's using it for NGs rather than going straight for tanks as Bob has. And Raelia has recolonized down here with another drop. Now I'm seeing a drop out here from Bob as well. Where's that going? Well, that looks like it's going down to the left island. And Bob has a significant Yenzine force of Seraphim hover tanks heading up here. And this fleet of frigates wisely falls back. Meanwhile, here comes Bob dropping this island. 
But look at Jadoka's eco. 40. It's like the man's unstoppable. And he is going straight for T2. Does he know about... He absolutely does, and that's why he's doing it. He knows he needs an answer to that T2 Navy, and he needs it fast. And this is quite heavily assisted, and he does have the better eco with which to build his units. However, I think that Bob has seen this T2 and doesn't want to engage it, so he pulls back behind this cliff, which is blocking the fire quite nicely. Wisely, straight for Destro's, but here comes a frigate. It will probably deal quite a lot of damage to the bird power, unless... Well, I was about to say, unless Jadoka can find an answer. But remember I was going on about these turrets? They're the answer. Down goes that frigate. And I'm just following back here for a brief overview. Bob, one island, one base. Realia, one, I one island, and Jadoka, one base. But despite Bob appearing to have the map control of the other two players combined, Bob's eco is actually the weakest because Realia has got two and two capped T2 mechs and one not quite capped T2 mechs, and Jadoka has got a capped T3 mechs, a capped T2 mechs, and he's on his way to his next T2 mechs. And that Destro is about to roll off, but we already have a Destro as well as a Cruiser out for Relia, backed up by a significant amount of T1. And these bombers will no longer be a threat, because this Cruiser will just shred them, and down they go. This frigate will die to the Destro, no problems. But Jadoka has to be super careful here. As oof, did you see that? The Destro just sends a shot smacking straight into the naval production. And this Destro has to worry about the frigates first. It's dodging well though. Eon Destros have the easiest shots to dodge, and as you can see, not many of them are landing on this frig. This frig on this Destro. A T1 torpedo launcher would help against the frigs, though not against the Destros. However, Jadoka sees Bob's com and retreats to the water. Relia falls back, and he has good reason. He's got another Destro out, and his eco is now up to 42. So, has he actually got a T3 mechs in here? No, he hasn't, but he's rebuilt these mechs down here, which is where, and these mechs here. So he is, get, he is getting quite significant eco. Bob also has got a T3 mechs joining Jadoka in sensibly building one of the ones out of range of the frigs, but that's going to be not so safe. Now there are Destros on the field. And again, we have a drop from Relia coming out for, it looks like, this island. Yes, there we go. It's going to land here and then fly away. Bob doing good work against the Frigs with his comb, but Bob is in the yellow and losing health quickly as the two Destros from Relia, whose name eluded me for a moment there, Oh, enough to take it out. Now, that's a lot of Yenzines and a few Zooies, and with excellent micro, they could probably take one of these Destros, but against the Destros backed up by frigates and cruisers, I don't think they're going to do it. Now, we have this one Destro out for Jadoka, and he's built some frigs to back it up. Bob is playing with fire here, as he is within range of Jadoka's Destros, and he might just have to retreat over here. And these Yenzines, meanwhile, are sitting still, and they are just easy pickings for the Destros. And I think Bob's going to lose his HQ. It's heavily assisted, and so it's being repaired fast, but it can't take many more of those hits. Meanwhile, we do have a Destro coming up this side from Jadoka, while a Destro and some frigates remain here to guard. 
but there are now three Destroils messed up here, plus a Cruiser for Relia. And if this chooses to just come in and stomp Jadoka's naval production, he won't be able to stop it. That said, if this Destroil can get here and take out Relia's com, that could be an amazing win for Jadoka because I think that Jadoka could take it if. But he's lost the T3 mechs. I didn't see where that happened, but he lost the T3 mechs. So. If he reclaims that, sure, that's nearly 3,000 mass, but he's lost his produ mass production. He's going to get another Death Draw out, but Jadoka's suddenly massively fallen behind. And without his T3 mechs, what's he going to do? And and Bob dies as Jadoka pushes in with his com. And so it's Raelia versus Jadoka. And look at this, Raelia has the mass lead, he has the Death Draw lead. This is a huge navy here. There are now one, two, three, four Destros out for him. His com has decent veteran sea soldiers, Jadoka's. And Jadoka resigns. Jadoka resigns because he realizes that Raelia just has the better eco, the better navy. The game is over and Raelia has won. What a game! There were so many points where one player seemed to have an advantage and then another player and then another. Tell me, were there any places where you think Jodoka could have taken it or Bob? Tell me in the comments below. While you're down there, please don't forget to like, subscribe and obey. I am the Commissar, I will see you next time.